those of you that are dealing with your exes. Today's conversation is for girls. It's for ladies. It's for you sisters out there. And it's not for all of you. And if I sound like I'm making sweeping generalizations, then I'm not trying to. I'm just trying to make you see something. I have this friend and uh, the other day he walked into his girlfriend's house and his face was nearly dragging on the floor and I said what's going on what's the matter and he had spent the best part of the day or the better part of the day uh, fighting with lawyers and being whipped by a judge and beat up by his ex-wife all so that she could get an extra three dollars a month support payment from him she has sucked him dry she just makes it so difficult for him every step of the way she makes it difficult for him and the guy is just done you know he doesn't want to help anymore she's just shot herself in the foot why are you doing that woman I don't get it because you are, some of you girls are so mean and so vindictive and you just hold this acid inside of you and you're making your children pick between you two. Why are you doing that? Why are you making them feel less loved? Because that's what you're doing. You're confusing them and you're hurting them. And I just don't understand it. I really wish that I could start a movement of um, being kind to each other in the face of uh, separations and divorces. It's just the way to do it. It's the way forward. It's the only thing that you can do, really, that's fair to your children, is to um, get along, for God's sakes. Really, think about it. Think about how they would feel how their world would be ripped up and how you've got to heal those wounds not with anger and punishment and greed and vindictiveness but with kindness and respect and thoughtfulness consideration It's not that hard to do.